Nu kam qërë. So, um, let's open up this and see what is inside. Then we can know. You know the first thing to know is actually how it works. Okay? So, if you can know how this works, you'll be able to troubleshoot. So, when you open up, uh, a microwave try let the door be closed so these are what you should know okay so this is the power cord from the power cord so this is how power enters from this power cord through this is the action okay this is the etting right here and this this is just a terminal plug this is the out and this is the in the power comes in from here and goes to the microwave through here okay so before it goes through this place it passes through this fuse okay so this is the fuse you can see this one is burned out so let's bring it out. This is actually blown. So we are going to replace this, right? You can see that this is blown. This fuse is gone. It is a it's an eight amps fuse. 250 volt 8 amps okay so that is for that one you can see here it's written here 8 amps in case it not sit on the fuse it's written here 8 amp fuse so that's how it goes so from here the power goes you can see it goes through this this is called this is a thermal fuse okay so the work of this fuse the work of this particular fuse is to ensure that the temperature of this guy doesn't go high so whenever it goes high you can see this has this is a 105 105 degree celsius thermal fuse which means that when it goes when this whole system goes above 105 degree it is going to cut the fuse will cut and then your your microwave will stop working so the next one is so this after it passes through this if this is fine the power goes down you can see it moves down to this part this is where we'll have safety interlocks okay let me bring this out so you can access the safety interlocks okay so this is just the lighting that powers the inside you know when you open your microwave you see that light that flashes inside so this is what does that okay so it is powered directly whenever the system is on so this part is where we we'll have the safety interlocks okay this particular microwave from from century has three safety interlocks so we have this this is one of the interlocks this one this is the second one This is the second safety interlock and this is the third one right here okay this is the third one so what this safety interlock does what this safety interlock does is to make sure that this system doesn't on 
until you close the door you can see this it has been bypassed there's there's supposed to be a hook here and another hook here so when you close it as soon as you close the door the, the those hooks are supposed to come out inside here okay so when they are in here they will either press the switch this safety interlock switch then it will allow you to start operating so which helps to make sure that whenever your door is not closed your microwave will not start yeah that's why whenever your microwave is closed your door will not your when, when your microwave door is open your microwave will not start because of these safety interlocks so the next thing is this knob right here this is virtually to control and uh, the intensity of the heat okay so this is how it is inside as you are turning it to the highest it is moving and it is controlling this you can see down here okay so this one here which is this knob is just the timer you can see so the timer has this bell on it as you can see. so this right here this particular one is the transformer okay so this transformer is what powers the main equipment so this is the main this is the main part of this microwave this particular part is the main part this is what provides the microwave effect you can see it's directly connected to this whole system as you can see it is directly connected to this system here it's got connected directly to the whole body so this is the main microwave this is what provides the heating that's why it's it's connected with a, an iron cable an iron wire so before this you have this here this is the capacitor that maintains the polarity of this okay so it's a protective capacitor that makes sure that the polarity of this remains intact that you don't have unfiltered uh, voltage going to this all right so this is your cooling fan that extracts the heat out of this microwave generator so you can call this a microwave generator so it provides the heat that you needed and this helps to extract it to make sure that this guy doesn't overheat okay so that is just it so if your if your microwave is having issue it depends the kind of issue it's having before you start working on it make sure that the door is closed make sure that the door is closed now when the door is closed make sure that the safety interlocks are all good test them if you look at the safety interlocks very carefully you will see that there where they noted them there is normally closed and normally open switch and then the common you can see them the nc is the normally closed and the no is normally open why the com is the common so this means that the common is always connected to the nc but when you press the switch it will disconnect and also means that the common is usually not connected to the NO you can see the diagram so when you press the switch it will connect to NO with that you'll be able to troubleshoot fine so you also test that this guy is always reading continuity there should always be continuity between this terminal and this other terminal okay 
so whenever there is no continuity between this terminal and this terminal you know that this guy this fuse this thermal fuse has blown so the next thing is to always check this fuse this fuse is one of the fuse to check first so whenever this fuse is bad replace it okay like we are going to replace this fuse now to a new one and then we are going to test it okay so that's all